Tanner, in what way was tonight's game really a, an example of how your repertoire has developed and evolved over the course of this year? Yeah, I think tonight was a great example of uh, the repertoire that I've been working on really since I got drafted. Um, I immediately when I first got drafted, I had the four seam fastball, added the, the split uh, a little bit more recently. Uh, I've gone through a few grip changes as well uh, with the slider, but yeah, it, it truly is just a, a surreal night of being able to actually put things fully together and, and continuing to pitch well and, and just really helping this team in, in every facet I can. In the back left, Ian. Tanner, just I guess over the last uh, three outings right now, I mean, how locked in do you feel right now? Have you, you know, when was the last time you felt uh, this locked in, kind of batter to batter with, with all your pitches? Yeah, I, I felt really locked in the past few outings with with everything, it, and it comes down to just continuing to show up every day and working with Bushy, working with Walk, talking with other guys on the team as well, uh, and just learning every day. Uh, it's this game is constantly evolving. I, like I'm constantly evolving. Everyone is, so it's it's a matter of just showing up. And, and sometimes you just gotta shut your mouth and open the ears and just listen to, to guys that have been there and done that. And that's one thing that I think is the best part about this team is we have an endless amount of guys with multiple years of service time that I can lean on and, and continue to ask questions. Welcome, oh, yeah. welcome, Kike Hernandez as well. Uh, Sean in the back, guys. Tanner, with, with Chris Sale starting, I'm sure you were not expecting to be on the mound in the second inning. What's the mental process like in terms of getting ready and knowing that you're probably going to be asked to go some length in that one? Uh, it's about showing up every day and not, not taking a day off. It, it's easy, I guess, as a reliever to, to go out there and just say, all right, Chris, Chris has it. Like, He's got it for six innings, kind of mentally shut it, shut it off. Um, but being locked in to, to every pitch, every A-B that's going on, and just supporting your teammates, whether they're hitting, playing the field, uh, pitching, like it, it's just a matter of continuing to stay locked into the game and, and not just kind of doze off, I guess. In the third row to your right, Chad. Hey, Tanner, just the, you looked calm. Uh, were you? <laughs> Uh, I definitely had a little butterflies at first, uh, but uh, once I got out there through my warm-up pitches, I felt like I, I was pretty comfortable. It, I, I live for those moments where you're in different stadium, people yelling at you, all that stuff. I, I love, I love that environment, and I love going out there and you know competing with my my brothers. Uh, Marley, right up front. Tenor, how did game, you know, your debut in the wild card game help you today in terms of the nerves? Uh, I mean, I would definitely say my nerves were a little bit more uh, today uh, than my debut and, and during the wild card game. Uh, I, I remember growing up as a kid and just dreaming about pitching in games like these and, and just pitching in moments like that. So having that, that moment come come real it was definitely a real moment where I was like all right like let me take a step back let me soak this in but then let's get let's get to work uh, okay oh, may I okay and Kike before we if you can please answer in English and Spanish afterwards please and um, before this book the postseason started we asked you about being a postseason performer and what you've been able to do and when Alex Cora was here he said that you made your adjustments from what he did yesterday how did you do that and what did you do um Going through video, watching what I did last night, and then going back and when I was doing well and, and seeing what, what what was different, and uh, you know showing up today and the determination that we're either fixing or we're fixing it, and uh, you know talked to the hitting coaches and we came up with uh, with with a plan of work for in in the cage and translated it to to BP and I feel a little bit better and uh, I had an okay game. Uh, what was the question again, so I can answer in Spanish? Oh. Eh, pues nada, este, después del juego anoche me puse a ver eh, video del, del mis turnos y, y o sea, de lo que estaba haciendo mecánicamente y a los picheos que le estaba haciendo Sweeney porque no le estaba llegando esos picheos y fui para atrás y, y miré videos de cuando me estaba yendo me estaba yendo bien cuando estaba caliente en el plato y, 
eh, pues ahí se la, como el jueguito de, de encuentra las siete diferencias y eh, vi unas cositas ahí y lleguemos al parque con, el, con un plan de trabajo de los hearing coaches para el cage y gracias a Dios pues me sentí mucho mejor hoy. Tanner, obviously you weren't thrilled to come out of the perfect game the other day, but does it make more sense today because of how long you were able to go in this game? I mean, I've always trusted AC with with his game plan and his vision. He he's always it seems ten steps ahead of everyone. Uh, so I, it definitely is like true, truly just you got to trust him and and know that he has the best interest for you and the team. So I I was more than willing to come out of that perfect game and and just be ready for, for a bigger moment. And I'm truly blessed to have him trust me enough to put me in those in those moments. Did, did you realize that you had 26 in a row at one point? I had no idea, to be honest. I, I was just more just focused in on on getting outs and, and just putting the team in the best uh, place to win. Uh, the, where are we going, Eric? Second row? Either way. Tanner, you, you talked earlier in the season about what Chris had meant to you from a mentorship standpoint. Did you have any, were you ha first of all, were you ha happy to, to kind of give him, give him a lift tonight and did you guys have any conversation a afterward? Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to, to speak to Chris yet, but uh, going back to speaking on him as a mentor and, and just everyone else on the team being, a, being just such leaders that they are, uh, it, it just speaks volumes to, for me to walk in and, and just be accepted from, from the guys that have an ungodly amount of talent and, and just are truly blessed with, with all the ability to have them accept, accept me and, and just kind of take me under their wing and, and teach me is, is truly, like, I'm, I'm just thankful. I, I think it really has helped me progress in my career uh, beyond where I even thought I'd be at this point. And in the second row on your left, guys. Tanner, you pitching that important game against New York early this week. Now this opportunity in the, uh, against the race. So how much these experiences are going to help you to grow as a pitcher early in your career? It, I mean, the way that I believe you grow in this game is by living in those experiences and, and just talking to guys that have done, that, done it before. Uh, if I was a position player, I'd be asking Kike every question under the sun. Uh, whether about hitting, fielding, whatever it is. And I, I think that I've done pretty well in, in terms of asking guys that have done it before, such as like Ottavino, Sale, Evaldi, just guys that have been there and, and experienced all these amazing things. I, Kike would be able to speak even more on it than I would, but to have those experiences is truly unmatched about your growth as, a, as an individual. And also you have Kiki on, on your left. What can you say about what he was able to do tonight? Sorry, what? What can you say about what Kiki was able to do tonight? I mean, there, there's not much to say. He, he left it out on the field today. <laughs> I mean, what do, what do you want me to say? You, you went, what, five or six? He asked you, not me. I mean, <laughs> I mean you can't have much of a, a better night than that. I, big home run, absolute lacing balls in the gap for doubles. I mean, I thought he was going to get that, that last one, a double as well. I was screaming at the TV for him to go, but. <laughs> I just didn't know where the ball was. I hit it, and I had no idea where it went. <laughs> but, I mean, it, truly a, an unbelievable performance and stepped up in, in one of the biggest stages in, in the season so far. And Jen in the third row. Uh, TK, um, when, when you guys are down there, you know, 5-2 five, five, in, the, in the first inning, which is what's, what's the, the mood like in the dugout? You know, you've, you've had so many come from behind wins this year, and you've talked a lot about, too, about just Cora's confidence in you guys and just what he kind of bring, brings to the equation for you guys. What, what's, what's that all like? It was, uh, it was pretty upbeat, to be honest with you. Um, I think we led baseball in comeback wins this year, and, I mean, we did it all regular season, and why not do it now? Uh, we're here. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't win or go home, but for us that was kind of the mentality. Because going down the series two nothing against that team is is a very uphill uphill battle, and um, for us it was, it was it was kind of go win or go home. And um, you know, going up two nothing at the top of the first with Chris on the mound is you know it's, them scoring five is not what you had envisioned, but. Team sports are all, all about picking each other up, and 
that's what we did as an offense. And what this guy did was unbelievable. The, the, he kept us in the game and gave us a chance to come back. And we started one, like one at a time. And we started scoring and scoring and scoring until we, we were able to tie it. And he kept them right there. And then we took the lead and we took off. And then after he was done, the rest of the guys came in and did an, an unbelievable job. And if it wasn't for, for what he was able to do behind, behind Chris and picking him up and us up, I mean, we wouldn't have been able to win this game. And, um, you know, collectively, pitching staff and defense and offense one through nine, it was a, it was a huge collective win for us tonight. In the third row on your right here. Tanner, you mentioned you like being in the opposing stadium and having people yell at you. When you come into the game, it's 5-2. This place is pretty loud. How satisfying was it for you to change the momentum and get this place quiet? Yeah, I mean, having momentum in this game is, is huge. Uh, and, and having, you know, fan support is also huge. That's why I, I believe we perform so well at Fenway is because, I mean, every time we're out there, it, it sounds like it's going to absolutely explode. Uh, but to, to be put in that spot and, and just have the, the trust of my teammates and, and just to have them continuing to fight and, and just seeing the look in their eyes of we're not out of this yet. It's it's only five to two. It's only three runs. Like we can come back. Like that's like nothing. Like and I mean led the league and comeback wins this year. Like like Kike said. Like why not now? Why not come back in in such a a big spot and and just to go out there and really just continuing to fight and and realizing like all right we're backed in a corner now. It, you know you can either roll over and die or you can you know show your teeth a little bit and fight so I think that's what the team does best and I mean just all props to them to to continue to go out there and do what they've done. We'll do three more Daniel in the back left. Kiki, ¿qué tan importante fue ganar este partido para llevar la serie empatada a la casa y la oportunidad de ganar los próximos partidos y pasar la serie por el campeonato? Eh, bien grande, en una serie de, si estuviéramos uno hablando de una serie de siete juegos, pues es diferente, pero en una serie de cinco juegos, eh, abajo por dos contra uno de los mejores, o sea, eh, staff de picheo en, en, en todas las grandes ligas y, y tienen un tremendo line-up también, eh, se iba a poner la cosa difícil, pero ahora, gracias a Dios, pudimos robarnos un juego aquí y ahora eh, se convierte en una serie de 3-2 y tenemos dos juegos en Fenway, así que tenemos, como en inglés, no sé, eh, tenemos un field advantage, así que, Para nosotros era bien, bien importante, aunque sea ganar uno de los dos juegos aquí. We'll stay there with Ian. Kike, what's it like just going from zero runs last night to 14 tonight? And also, uh, you know, how much of a lift was it for you guys just having JD uh, back in the lineup? I mean, it was, obviously it was huge. Um, we didn't really, we, we didn't have a, a good night last night. And, um, you know, with our lineup, it's just, it's kind of a matter of time. And, um, you know, having JD back, even, even if he didn't do what he did tonight, just having his presence there in the lineup. Um, he's not just one of our best hitters, but he's been one of the best hitters in baseball for a few years now. So, uh, you know, just having his presence and obviously his bat, you know, it came out tonight and uh, he had four hits and I mean, it was huge. He had that three run homer to put his ahead and, um, you know, and not enough can be said about what JD, JD did tonight. And uh, obviously he's dealing with that injury and, and you know, for him to come like that and, and, and help the team that big away, it was, it, was, it was huge for us. And right up front, John here. Tanner, I know they're very proud of you back in Collinsville, Illinois tonight. Uh, how do you describe the, the family and the coaches who helped make this day possible for you? I, I'm an incredibly thankful to every single person that, that's helped me onto the journey to, to get to this point. It's, it truly does take a team to, to get to this point as well as a team on the field. Uh, so I, I've been truly blessed to have a, an incredible group off the field as well as on the field. So it, thank you to everyone that, I mean, I can't even name them all. Like there, there's so many people that like I could easily just rattle off to, to thank them for everything that they've done in, in terms of my career and, and just helping push me to, to reach my goals and, and reach my dreams.